Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. We are learning about the nested routing, right? So let's try to see this nested routing. So how we can, what is the problem we will be facing and how we can solve the problem about the route params. So here we are able to get this route params, right? So for example, here what I will try to write is component did mount. Okay. So I will be having component did mount. In this component did mount, what I will try to write is console dot log this dot props dot match dot params dot id right this is the id we are getting so now if i try to console we are trying to trying to do the console right if i try to do the console if i go to the post if i click on the post if i click on the post one i am able to get this one but here I am showing this one, right? So instead of showing this one, I will try to show some getting the data from the Ajax and getting the details and all those things. We'll try to do instead of doing the Ajax calls and all those things, I will show you some dummy thing. So here I will be having this one. So let's try to it. Let's post name. Okay, I am getting only the post name, and here I will write a switch case. That is something like this dot props dot match dot params dot id. Okay, so here is the switch case I am taking, and in this one I will be writing case one. So if it is a case one means so I will assign post name is equal to post one details. So I will do the break. So here I will be having another one case two. So here I will write post name is equal to post two details. Okay, I will do the break again. Now I will be having default post name is equal to post three details. Okay, so we are getting somewhere from the Ajax call. Okay, let's assume that we are getting somewhere from the Ajax call. So this is the default. Okay. Now what I will try to do is I will try to add a state here. This dot state is equal to post name is equal to empty. And after getting all these things, what I will do is this dot state is dot set state of post name. Sorry, this dot post name is equal to post name. So I will try to set this post name. Okay. So this is the thing what I will be trying to do. Try to break here. No need of writing break, but writing. Otherwise, we can remove it, not a problem. Okay. So we are writing in the switch case that is the problem we are getting like this okay outside the switch case we need to write so now we got the um so on component it won't getting the params whatever the param id we are getting post id we are getting so here you can think of calling the ajax call and getting the ajax details okay so now what i will try to do is here i will try to show the post name so here i will write something like this dot state dot post name okay now let's try to see the output if you try to see the output here so here i have clicked on post one so here i'm able to see this post one details now if i click on post two see if i am clicking on the post one post two post three so the url top at the top it is changing but here the details are not changing post one details it is not changing to post two details or post three details for example if i go here to post and if i click on the post two so it is showing the post two details first so afterwards if i am clicking on the post one or anything post three so we are not able to show the details what is this one happening is so it we are in the same route okay we are on the same route but the route parameter is changing so what is happening is the component is already mounted here okay the parameters the props are changing but the component is already mounted so that is the reason the, this component this file method is not executing what we can do here we can use the component did update okay we, we have a method called component did update what i can do here so I can take this one all and I can do something like this dot get post. Okay. And here I can write something like get post is equal to something like this. I can write and I can paste this one all. So here also in the component did update. So if you try to see here, I am doing some console.log getting post instead of writing here. I am writing getting post. We'll try to see, we will try to see here output. And if I try to see getting post, we are up, we are getting the component did update has been executed for example if i go here from contact and i go to the post so right now nothing is executed so if i click on the post one 
the getting posts. So that means component did mount is executed and also component did update is also executed. Now if I click on the post tool, see again the getting post is executed. Right. So now if I try to what I will try to do if I try to call this dot get post here, see what will happen. So now I am calling this dot get post. Now let's let's see what will happen. So if I try to see the output. <clears throat> now let's see what could be the output so here we got an error such that so it is going on calling the getting post see 52 times it has been called so this is the problem we will be getting on the component did update why because so here in the get post it is setting the state post name it is updating again when the post name the state is updated again this component did update will exist. again this get post will be called again it is updating the state again this component so this becomes a recursive loop so here what we need to check here we need to check if the props.id is not equal to the post id. So whatever the post we got in the previously and the present we are getting if it is not equal means then we can stop the update. So how we can do so uh, fortunately what we can say is we will be able to get the previous props here. Okay so here if I try to do the previous props and I will try to comment out this one. Okay so I will show you the previous props here console.log previous props okay previous props in this previous props if you try to see the output here so when i try to click on the post pane okay here in the previous props history so the post the the location so sorry the params id is one so if i click on the post three okay now here see now now the now the location is post one see so the previous one is the one so if i click on the post two so now we will be able to get another history something like now the previous one is the now the previous one is the id 3 the previous one is the id 3 so now what i can do here so what i can try to do is so here what i will try to do is if if previous props dot id oh sorry previous props dot match dot params dot id is not equal to this dot props dot match dot params dot id if it is not equal only then call this get or otherwise just simply don't call now if you try to see the output so now see let's see what will happen if i go to the contact if i go to the post if i click on the post one see now it will it will be able to update the details now we are able to update the details simply Okay, so this is how we can call the getting post. Okay, so here the get post will exude, but here only one time it will get. So here, if I try to see, if I, if I try to show you, here if, if you try to see contact, and if I go to post, so if I click here, we are able to get the getting post. Getting post so only one time only it will get exude. Okay, so this is how we can we can get rid of the dynamic routing so when we are on the same route and we are changing the route params so this is how we can get rid of this dynamic routing so update the components using the component did update and also you need to be taking care of this checking thing so props params id is not matching with the previous params only then do the update thing or otherwise just simply don't allow this one to update okay so this is how we will be doing this props okay so hope you understood about the concept thing this thing so this thing already we have did in the component did update when we are checking this component did update uh, uh, previously we have did this one so hope you understood about this nested routing so this is how we will be implementing the nested routing in the react router and, uh, and also so when we are doing the ajax call so here in the get post you will be calling this ajax call so that whenever the params is uh, changed then only one time only the ajax call will be done so if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.